Hi, I'm Tish, and I'm on a unicorn hunt. But today, I'm talking about unicorn books. This is a unicorn hunt. This is a unicorn hunt. We're not gonna hurt them, we just wanna find them and give them some treats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a unicorn hunt. This is a unicorn hunt. Unicorns are hard to find because they are good at hiding. Come at unicorn, we won't hurt you, we want to be your friend. Unlike unicorn movies, there are a lot of unicorn books. I could not possibly get my hands on all of them to read them and review them for you. So I'm just going to talk about just three. The three that I have. They are a variety of types of books, so I think that'll give you a good idea of the types of books about unicorns that are out there. There is a lot to write about when it comes to unicorns because they have been around for a very long time, so there's a lot of folklore and history and stories to draw from, which means that there's a lot of books that are basically non-fiction telling you the history of the unicorns, the folklore, and then there's a lot of modern stuff just making fun of unicorns and kind of using all the unicorn lore just to make something silly. So I've got a range of books from serious folklore facts to just fun humor. The first book I'm going to talk about is The Unicorn by Nancy Hathaway. This is a collection of unicorn folklore from all over the world, all throughout history, brought together in tales as opposed to just kind of factual and then this person wrote about this and then this happened and this is what they believed in China and this is what they believed in Europe and all the different things. It puts it all together and tells you the tale of the unicorn from different times and different countries and different places and stuff like that. It also gets into some modern stuff near the end of how unicorns are received now. Well, this book's kind of old so it's not that modern, but there is stuff about how people discuss now whether or not unicorns are real or not, which is a very different discussion to have now than it was a few hundred or like a thousand years ago. We're pretty sure now that they exist. Here's what the back of the book says. A captivating book, at once scholarly and richly imaginative. It taught me a good deal I didn't know about unicorns. That was from the author of The Last Unicorn. There's also a lot of great illustrations of unicorns throughout history and folklore and art. It's pretty amazing to see how unicorns have been used in stories and culture throughout the world and throughout history. So I think this book is a great combination of like history and facts and folklore and because it's told in the form of stories, most of it, it is also like fun to read as fiction. I give this book a unicorn rating of 5 out of 5 unicorns. It's all about unicorns. It's all accurate to folklore because that's all it is and it's very informative and very interesting. As a book I give it four out of five stars. To be honest I have not read it all. It's that there's a lot in there but I skimmed it and I read some of the stories that seemed interesting and learned a lot and it's well written so I can't see why it should be a four out of five. And so from basically non-fiction about unicorns, we move on to a book that is non-fiction but also humor. It depends whether or not you believe what they're writing is true to whether or not this is fiction or non-fiction. It's Raising Unicorns, your step-by-step -step guide to starting and running a successful and magical unicorn farm. This is the first unicorn book I got. My friend got it, I think, actually from like Urban Outfitters or somewhere like that, just kind of in their humor, fun stuff section. And I was just starting to plan the Unicorn Hunt series, so I thought I should get it for research. And I actually read the entire thing. It's really well written, it's really funny, but it's like 
totally serious. Like this is really step-by-step -step guide to running a unicorn farm. It's very detailed and very specific how to find unicorns, uh, what they need in their habitat, how to successfully run your business, like what you can use the unicorns for, breeding, uh, pony rides kind of thing, uh, use their magic for stuff. Like it's, it's very detailed. They really did their research. Some of the information I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they just kind of made it up and it's not from any unicorn folklore source but it all just comes together it's so much fun to read and I was almost worried that it wouldn't be fun because you're like after the gimmick of like haha unicorn farm like how can you write a whole book on that they did and it's like I said it's very detailed about how to actually run your farm but it's never boring. It's always very lighthearted and like almost everything they say is like makes you laugh and like oh my god I never even thought of that and it's just so much fun. It also comes with great illustrations like all the different types of unicorns and somewhere in here there's a map of how their habitat should be laid out. There's Oh, here's uh, unicorn regions of the world where you can find the different types of unicorns. Like I said, very detailed. So I give this book a unicorn rating of 4 out of 5 because it's all about unicorns, but it's maybe not all correct. As a book, I'm gonna go ahead and give it 5 out of 5 stars. Like I said, it's very well written, it's very funny, it's very planned and detailed, the illustrations are great, so much work went into this, and you just read it like it's so much fun. And it's a great book, guys. <laughs> so now that we've got some unicorn information, folklore, how to start a unicorn farm, now let's just read some fun unicorn stories! This is Unicorns vs. Zombies. No, it's not. Zombies vs. Unicorns. It's a collection of short stories from some authors you may recognize, divided into Team Unicorn and Team Zombie. So it's half zombie stories and half unicorn stories. I have not read any zombie stories yet because I'm not crazy about zombies. I read some of the unicorn stories and the couple that I read were really funny and really good and like I said they're just short and fun. They don't all stick to the same unicorn rules or facts or information, so you get a whole variety of unicorns in the world, unicorn world, and it's just fun. So I have to give this book a unicorn rating of 2.5 because it's only half about unicorns. It is zombies versus unicorns. And I'm going to give it a book rating of 3 and a half stars. Like I said, I haven't read the whole thing yet. I've just read some of the unicorn stories. They're all very good, but maybe not all the best. I don't know. I shouldn't really be judging these books. I haven't even read them all. So that's what I've got for unicorn books. A range from <laughs> historical folklore, short stories, humor, Factual, not factual, who knows? Uh, it's unicorns, guys. So I recommend those three books, but I know there are a ton more of all different genres and types of books. So leave in the comments all your favorite unicorn books. Let me know what I should read, either for research or just for fun. You can also check out my last review video, Unicorn Movies to see what's up with the unicorn movies and I also asked for book recommendations in that video so in the comments people left me a ton of suggestions I'm sorry if you're disappointed I didn't review those but I cannot buy all the books but of course you can leave your book suggestions in the comments of this video so I can see and everyone else can see book recommendations let me know what you think and my next review video which will be in a couple weeks will be unicorn iPhone apps so let me know what you guys are doing on the iPhone with unicorns. I know there are some cool games, some like photo editing apps. I'm only going to review the free ones because I'm not made of money, guys. But you can tell me about them even if they cost money. And don't forget to subscribe for more unicorn adventures.
<laughs> my legs are falling asleep. Oh god. Oh god. I'm too old to sit cross-legged. Or just too out of shape. I should do yoga or something. <gasps> Unicorn yoga. <laughs>